Tonight in Arkansas, there's a mother tucking in her daughter and turning off the light. A business owner is burning the midnight oil. An at-home dinner date is plating up possibility. And it's all happening under one roof. How? The power of a conversation. Like the one John from Integrity Solutions had with First Horizon Bank about his vision for a sustainable mixed-use building. Now it's not just words, it's life. First Horizon Bank, let's find a way. Go to firsthorizon.com slash John. First Horizon Bank, member FDIC. This morning in North Carolina, wheels are spinning. Determination is winning. A passion is now a thriving business, and it shows no signs of slowing down. How? The power of a conversation. Like the one Clint Spiegel had with First Horizon Bank about starting a bike wheel manufacturing facility in Asheville. Now it's not just talk, it's rubber meets road. First Horizon Bank, let's find a way. Go to firsthorizon.com slash Clint. First Horizon Bank, member FDIC. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's get started. I have thought a lot in the last 24 hours. I want, I do both, you know. Time to get your weekly sports fix. By the skin of their teeth, they lost. You know, then you can just ride it the whole thing. With sticks. Right, 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 right. Uh, Sound like he's ready to blow up something. Got to keep my eyes on you. Yeah, well, it's a good thing. I uh, it's a good thing I'm afraid of heights. Let's just say that. (laughs) What's going on down there in the two five three? You trying to put some Bob Via shit together or what? Yo, man, look, what can I do? There's only so many things that I can do without going stir crazy around here. So, you know, I tried my hand at little handy things to see if I could do it. I have absolutely no mind for this. I don't have the hands for physical <laughs> physical creation. It's just not my thing, okay? And uh, every now and again, I like to test myself. So we were talking about uh, making this wood cover to cover the uh, brick mantle. Man, yo, I got something, man. I don't know what I got, but I got something. <laughs> it looks all right. I ain't trying to brag on Is- the on the Tim the uh uh you know what I'm saying? The Tim, the tour man style Tim uh, situations, but yo, I got some. Hey, as long as it looks better than it did from before, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, at I mean, least it, you, it, you accomplished what you needed to do. But see, with me, because I don't have the technical skill and the know-how to do these kind of things, my fear is always that I'm going to get halfway through this and it don't work. Right. I'm going to get halfway through this damn thing. I done, I done cut I done sanded. it. I done damn assembled. And the damn shit don't work. Oh, you don't even want to know how explosive I would be if that when that's the turnout. Because <laughs> it has happened before. I have attempted to install things before. It does not go well. It ends up with me and a whole bunch of people frustrated at me wilding out because I attempted to tackle this particular project. So I took it light this time. And uh, I think I'm good, man. I just needed a little bit of, you know, glue nails and some stuff. There's nothing uh, too hard uh, that couldn't be done in uh, ninth grade, 10th grade workshop or wood shop. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, if I had those skills and I had any any uh, any fucking Microsoft Excel uh, <laughs> skills. Ah, you need a couple extra I'd, skills. Uh. I'd be, I'd have some I'd have some skills and I'd have a, a new career opportunity right now. So as we referenced to the other day, we were talking about some some things popping off. Well, some things didn't pop off for old sticks over here, my man. So still a free agent. Old drawing board, my friend. Well, no, you're not a free agent. Let's not say that. Let's not say you're a free agent. But uh you're hoping that somebody tampers is what's going on. You know what <laughs> there I mean? you go. You're hoping to get caught up in a team camp, uh, tampering case. I'm I'm ready for some tampering. Let's get some tampering going on. Uh, I'm definitely okay with that. Um, there's something else I wanted to pop off with you real quick before we get fired up at Anonymous Big Homie. I just don't remember what, what it is. I don't know. I don't remember what it was now. Uh, it'll, it'll come to you, man. But uh, yeah, man, we're getting we're getting ready to. Uh, to get this football season started. So, you know, every day, all day, every day, all day, back to the grind. There you go. You know, you, you have to put those projects uh, to the side now, because there's a lot of stuff that we're going to have to stay focused and stay tuned 
uh, to my brother to make I'm sure we doing did. absolutely nothing. I am scheduling <laughs> nothing until fe- middle of February. That's gonna, right. hey, I'm locked in nine <laughs> hours of football. You know what I mean? And Monday and Thursday. And as we spoke about Christmas Saturday, you won't believe it. <laughs> I'm in. Well, let's get this uh, popping off. As a nice big homie likes to say, let's fire it up. I let's like do it. This. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review the show. Go to thisisfunner.com for more podcasts and online content. And you got today and you got tomorrow for to that 10% off, baby. Okay. 10% off. And uh, uh, the, produ- the producer, Chris Donovan, hooked it up. So I believe the code is get 10 get 10 so you get 10 percent off you go to the 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 this is funner website you can get in you get you can get the sticks and announce big homie merch there you can get uh the this is funner merch there so check Mm -hmm. it all out um and while you're doing that check out all the other uh podcasts that chris does he's got some good stuff on there yes sir Follow me on Twitter at stick015. Follow this dude, announce big homie at homie underscore anonymous. Like I said, use that hashtag sticks and sports because we have a lot of stuff. Are you struggling to conceive? You have options. And at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group, we'll make sure you have the guidance and support you need. Preg is known for individualized fertility care that's unique to every patient. We take the time to provide a reassuring and empowering experience because we believe that you deserve nothing less. Let us help you on your journey to parenthood. Visit us at pregonline.com to learn more. Get the guidance and support you need at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group. Are you ready for a rewarding career in the electrical industry? Quality Electric of the Coastal Carolinas, QECC, is looking for qualified electricians and electrical helpers to join its Charleston team. QECC offers guaranteed full-time hours, make up to $30 per hour with possible performance bonuses and career growth opportunities. Enjoy benefits like health insurance, dental and vision coverage, 401k plans, and more. If you're a motivated, experienced electrician, this job is for you. QECC is an equal opportunity employer. For all job inquiries, send email to hr at qeccinc.com going the next uh months bro months so cooking it up all right the final score all right let's get it fired up we got some previous week stuff and some (laughs) some new uh mini discussions as we like to get into the regular discussion pieces we got might have some mini discussions here for y'all um i think i know where you might be going but go ahead high school football bishop Dude, I'm not covering high school football. What happened? Bishop Sycamore. This stuff is gets more crazy by the day, bro. Like, you've seen a couple things on it. It's just, who, 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 who should be embarrassed? ESPN, Paragon Sports, the, the school name wasn't a, a, a dead giveaway. Um, they played twice in the weekend. Two-way players. Coach has a warrant. Juco players who supposedly, I guess there actually ended up being like two guys who actually had legit D1 offers. Oh, uh, see, I didn't even hear that. Shared helmets. Uh, and as you said, and not big homie. And On top still, of that, they still sucked, okay? <laughs> and they still <laughs> lost to legitimate high school prospects. Yo, the, the, I can't even, I don't even know. Like, there were so many other things I thought that would just come to me because when I was – typing this up i was looking at it and reading it and i'm like there's something else there's something else there's something else uh some dude blew out his knee and doesn't have insurance um oh come on like you said the coach was uh had a warrant out for his arrest dude they had uh uh the coach's car got broken into by a, a homeless guy and he had the Team, some te- some players beat the snot out of this this homeless guy. This is not all at the game, though, right? No, this is just throughout a separate the, a separate occurrence. Yeah, throughout wow. whatever. There's just cra- and every day there's something else popping off, bro. Okay, so you asked the question: Who should be more embarrassed? Okay, I don't know to be honest with you because I could take this a whole bunch of different ways. Clearly, 
the coach who is the face man for uh, this circus should definitely be embarrassed, clearly, because he clearly knows that this whole program that we run, this football program that we're running is not for a legitimate uh, place of education. Okay. He clearly knows that. So he running around doing whatever. And you, it, I mean, if you know anything about high school coaches, it's wild stuff going on. Okay. Right now in the city, federal way, it's a former federal way high school coach. Now I'm not saying nothing out of line because this is widely reported on the news. He had all kind of circumstances with allegations of inappropriate behavior as a as a coach slash, you know what I mean, some of it sexual, all of that. And now he works at the middle school. Now the moms is going nuts around here, okay? So think about how what happens with coaches ain't always on the up and up. They ain't always educators. They're not always your health science teacher with a, you know I mean, with a good degree. These is just dudes who just yell for a living. You know what I mean? They're just trying to motivate young bucks for a living. So clearly he should be uh, embarrassed in all of this situation. But I took it to another level. Okay, peep this out. ESPN, though. They put this on the air. Now they got they, dupes, dog. They got dupes. You gotta look like the ultimate dunce cap. Now, I know how many hours of programming ESPN puts on every day. Okay. I just don't understand how anything could slip through the cracks. Okay? I don't know how anything could slip through the cracks. Come on. A uh Bishop Sycamore. That would be like uh Reverend Pine Tree. Okay, <laughs> or Pastor Douglas Fur. I mean, there's there aren't any people named it. Say, uh, 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 Saint John, <laughs> Saint John of uh, uh, Daffodil, a, a, of Academy of Arts or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So they just picked out any uh, 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 religious style title. Okay, it could have been Cardinal Sycamore. They could have rolled with, and then uh, then a tree type. This is not what these dudes' names are. That's crazy. That would have been the first thing that would have been a dead giveaway to me if I'm anybody from ESPN programming going, who is this school that we plan on airing? They don't. I don't even think they care, man. But that's the whole thing is mad wild to me, man. And it, and it sounds like it keeps getting better because if you saw the clip of the, the video of the coach giving the uh, runout speech before the game, absolutely hilarious i didn't see that doc oh you know what else i heard too is the players were saying the coach picked his his plays from you'll never guess where actually probably will guess where madden dog all the (laughs) plays were from madden i like i said it gets better every day there's always something else coming up it is wild as Fuck, bro. I mean, but you have to look at this. Clearly, John Madden knows that those plays work. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, those are bump, dummy plays. I mean, they, clearly, those plays work. So that's like coaching for dummies. I mean, he he right. came there up. He came up. But hey, imagine your homeboy yelling to you, "Hey, give me your helmet. I need to go in." <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> you know why did why didn't he take your shoes off? Watch- I need to go in. Why didn't they just watch uh, some uh, some uh, old John Gruden takes? Spider two, wide banana, Z cross, extra left, wide right, some shit like that. At least act like you know what the hell you're doing. That's too that's too much for him because terminology. Oh, he doesn't right. know They're terminology. High school players, I forgot. Yeah, well, most <laughs> high school players, the good ones, that's in a real program, they know terminology and all of this but this dude does not he just no, knows arrows all. and which direction they're supposed to go <laughs> that's what he knows a b c a b x <laughs> whatever the buttons are x square circle yeah uh wow so yeah stay tuned for that story i'm sure there'll be something else popping off by the end of the day uh shout out to the little league world series that we talked about last week michigan mm-hmm. defeated uh ohio five to two uh, I still didn't get to figure out what team that kid, that kid Gavin Weir, I think his name was, played for. Right. Yeah. Uh, still, oh, no, actually, oh, shoot, I ain't gonna lie. I thought it came to me, but go ahead. Yeah. Bad, bad, bad on my part. Um, 
wild week, wild week, uh, lots of stuff going on. Hey, but you know what, announced big homie? College mm. football is back, baby. College, College football. football is back and full slate every day, dog. I don't know if I really care though. Uh, I don't. I don't know anything about these kids. Every time the beginning of college football season, I ask myself the same thing: Do I really care? And as you well know, every now and again, I'll you know reach into the hat, pull out a rabbit. You know what I mean? It, for whatever reason, I pick a horse and I ride it. Just like you guys heard me talk about BYU and the strength and the power of Zach Wilson, which manifested itself into a number two overall draft pick. So we see what's happening right there. I will You're probably lying. I will probably come up with one this year, but I will say that we did take a second half last night because I was fooling around with this project. And we did get in on the Ohio State Minnesota second half, 30 and a half. We took the O. Guess what happened? Second half, Ohio State ran the table. Cash out. Yes, sir. We popped that one off for sure. Um, you know, it's 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 very telling when you watch these games, and especially in college football. And I think uh, that's a good um, a good look, homie, that we need to to stay in touch with, especially the first week of the season, the first weekend here. Um, I like that play a lot. Um, obviously, I like the overs. I get a little too carried away sometimes, but I yes, think college. I, think, <laughs> I, I agree. I, I, I admit it, dog. I admit it. Um, but uh, yeah, I think in in the college football, the realm, man. Um, I, I again, I believe that these teams are getting closer and closer to being more comparable and more uh, uh, a better game uh, as far as like uh, competition goes, but. There's still that one time where you could you're gonna throw up some points, you can throw them up quick, and it could bounce real fast. Then the other team plays catch up, and you just keep going. So yeah, it, it's too many teams, man. It's just too many teams. I mean, they're trying to create a situation to where there's like 20 teams you really care about nationally. So I'm just playing it smart as uh, the good money hungry individual like I, uh, I like myself to be. Chase the bag, get into the money. Is just look for the big, uh, the big space in between the good team and the bad team, and then just try to play the O uh, or the under number, the total or something like this. There's too many teams to try to figure hey. out. Thirty two teams is a lot. Bet. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. You bet numbers, not teams, right? That's what it is. All right, now it's big homie. Bet numbers, not teams, and and get that paper because uh, we need to get some paper so we can start uh, making some moves that we've been talking about that we're making moves with, but we need to get that paper to make sure we get those moves. Um, I'd be dumbfounded not to mention the UFC, baby. Again, like I said mm-hmm. last week, fights every weekend, one tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned for those. Uh, I don't know any of those guys. Yo, <laughs> not as big are, are any of those guys good? Any of the UFC guys? Yes. Yeah, there's a few. There's a few. All and right. To be I'll honest, just... I haven't been able to look at the card for tomorrow yet because I had to rush and get home and do all that. But that's why I just want to throw it out there. Tune in early. I think that actually uh, the free fights start early on ESPN. I think it's like 1.30 tomorrow or something like that. Or Saturday, whenever you hear this, so uh, pop into that. But you know well, what? Like I Another said, though, I, I mean, I'm still going to hold my stance on since I was made aware of their money demands in that sport. I'm still saying FUFC. Peace. Hey, Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley had a nice little payday on uh, Sunday. Off and the- why is that? That's crazy. You you see what I'm saying? And that's a that's almost a joke. Two million each just to step into the ring? Come on, man. We the wrong profession, you dog. Wrong profession. Oh, not Yo. if I'm getting. Not if I'm about to get hit. I'm in the correct uh, uh, profession for <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not. You mess up the money maker, baby. Yo, 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 yo. Do you? I don't even know if you've seen this yet or you've came across this because usually you would text me some wild shit like this. Uh what, what I miss? The NBA, 
this is interesting to me. I saw this VIA Twitter, uh, Sham Sharanye. I know I can't spe- say his name right, but uh, shout out to him on Twitter. Unvaccinated NBA players in markets with local requirements, such as New York City, Knicks and Nets, and San Francisco uh, Warriors, will not be allowed to enter home arenas or facilities for games or team activities conduct- conducted there unless there's approval approved medical or religious exemption also visiting players will be exempt from the requirements from new york city and san francisco so if there's a vaccination that's a lot to take in go ahead break it down if if there's a vaccination requirement for to be in a stadium for the knicks and the nets right like city or local requirements that have been put in place okay go ahead yeah then if Kevin Durant doesn't have the vaccination, he ain't playing at home game. What? Yeah, that's what I how I read it. Oh wait a minute, that's wild. Okay, hold on. I if there's a if there's a vaccination policy in in Golden in San Francisco, right for the Warriors, it, there's a lockdown, right? And you have to everybody in the arena has to be vaccinated to go to the games. The players have to be vaccinated as well to play. If that's a requirement. Yo. Is that how you read it? That's how I read it. I mean, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. I this was this was your hit. So I was I looked at it and I was like, okay. But now that I'm hearing you explain it, I'm like, what is the what are the ramifications of this? You know what I mean? Like Okay, I'm not even talking about I'm a visiting player because if I'm a visiting player coming to an area like like Frisco to play the Warriors, for example, and where I'm from, they don't have these type of regulations. I come in as an opposing player. So you're exempt. You're good. I'm exempt. Okay. Yep. So what it's opposing saying is teams, as a home player. Teams are, yep, only the home team. Is that wild or what? Totally. I mean, it, it, it kind of is because I'm not a city or a state employee. You know what I'm, I work for a company. If the NBA is telling me they're not tripping, then I don't work for you. You're not telling the guys at McDonald's it's mandatory vaccinations. I'm performing a task in this particular state, city, locale of whatever type. And that's just my job. My job, my employers do not require it. That's crazy, G. I don't right. even think the people local, understand how crazy that is. Markets with local requirements will not be allowed to enter home arenas or facilities for games or team activities in- conducted. See, I didn't even put it together like that. See, I was thinking like I was thinking. So I was thinking, I don't know why. Maybe I didn't read on, and I'm, I'm guilty of that all the time. But anyway, um, I'm thinking, hey, as a opposing player, I'll roll up to Denver. Denver's got some stringent policies in place. I roll up, they tell me, hey, you didn't you didn't get stuck, so therefore you're sitting out. So this is a DMP. This is like uh this is a load management situation. Lo- All load right. management, baby. Yeah. yeah. So you know what I mean? So I'll just do it like that. Okay, cool. They just this just this is one of the games I'm gonna load manage because I've already mapped out on the schedule what cities have these particular uh regulations on them. And these are just going to be the games that I sit out, like it or not. NBA, I don't care if they're nationally televised or whatever. What if this is a Christmas game? That's how I was thinking, and I thought that that was wild enough. If I just so happen to be not, I just happen to be the unlucky cat superstar, okay? So imagine if New York, like you said, does that. If KD says he's on this, I ain't getting stuck. If Harden says I'm not getting stuck. If uh, Kyrie Irving, who's wild as hell, definitely is not getting stuck. He definitely is not. He's bro. definitely not getting stuck. He's he doesn't know not. what the hell's in there, even though it's liquid and you could see through it. He's still skeptical. But nevertheless, what kind of team are you bringing to Barclays Center for 42 games in the next season? It's going to be interesting to, to find out. And I think that's uh... – kind of off subject a little bit but the same subject is i just heard that tampa bay's buccaneers are 100 percent vaccinated and then oh for sure definitely yeah 
And then I also heard uh, the NHL, the Vegas, um, Vegas put in a mandate where you don't have to be vaccinated to be in the arena. But if you're okay. when you're in the arena, you have to wear a mask. So mm. if the if and I was going to get to hockey here in a second, but for sure, same thing. If you're going to get into if you're going to go, let's say uh, uh, the Vegas has a stipulation that they don't have any home. They don't have any. Well, they have the Vegas Knights. So the Vegas Knights, yeah. would it be the same stipulation if they did something like that, where players have to be vaccinated or people have to be vaccinated to be in the building. Um, the other teams that come in would be exempt, but how many, which is crazy as hell. How many <laughs> hockey, how many people on the, uh, how many hockey, uh, players are not going to be able to play in the, in their home Vegas, in their home team, home site either. Um, which brings me to the point. Okay. We'll just get into it. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Before I ask the question, because I have something on that too, and I'll speak, homie. Uh, NHL Kraken jerseys are released on the September fifteenth. Available for sale. Available for sale. Mm, don't I ask to, me, homie, because I, I, I don't know. I gotta get the plug. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I want a sweater of them though. But I, I definitely. Yes, you rock. do, homie. You've been talking about it for a year and a half. I don't, don't know if I bullshit. want a full jersey sweater though. You know what I mean? I do. Yeah, I do. I ain't even gonna front. I do. I'm not even gonna yeah, lie. You can't. You can't lie. You can't lie to me. I'm dog. not even gonna front. Yeah, Pre-season. I was gonna try to play it off like, yeah, I'll wear some other merch, but no, nah, man, I gotta get the uni, man. I gotta get the good official Kraken uniform sweater. Yeah, that's right, baby. Preseason starts the 25th. Kraken play the 26th preseason, uh, and then the season starts October 12th. And that's why I brought up Vegas is because the Kraken play at Vegas their first game on October 12th. Right. Um, what's so, up with the What's up with the arena? I mean, what's the pro- you ain't heard anything about the progress on the arena? Well, that's what I was gonna ask too. Is it sounds like it sounds like they'll be they'll be ready for opening uh, opening day, opening night, whenever they uh, play okay. at home. But uh, that was the thing because I think next week the mask mandate goes to anything over 500 people in Washington. Mm-hmm. Everybody has to be masked. Now, there's not a vaccination policy because right. there's. I mean, that'll be the first uh, Seahawks home game after that. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I guess two weeks after that. Well, right. But, uh, right. but uh, you know, people are going to have to wear pride masks. There, I think the the Mariners are already doing it. Um, but can you yeah. see this? How do you see this going in Nas Big Homie? I mean, is Wash your kit, you keep up on this a lot more than I do, even though I hear about it every day. Uh, is this something that's gonna be that, that, that Seattle downtown Seattle is gonna come up with? I mean, have to be vaccinated to be in a building? Oh, uh, and I don't okay. want to go on no fucking vaccination yeah. rant, but just well, but I mean, it's it's a big it, it's it sounds like it's rearing its face into the sports landscape that's why i mean you don't even have right. to i think i'm looking at it through the lens of of the sports joker right you know what i mean how are people's decisions to or not to vaccinate themselves affecting my ability to get this good sports watch on you know what i mean how was it affecting the situation how was it affecting each of these leagues and um i think that's crazy but like i said on as far as it is here Um, our governor's like he's making wholesale decisions okay our governor is making wholesale decisions saying mask up just like uh it was last you know march april when we didn't know nothing okay and i've been to places in public where legitimately i ain't even gonna front and it shocked the hell out of me yeah it was a mask situation But it was like literally people that worked in the location at the event, tapping people on the shoulder who had their stuff down. If they were not sitting down, sipping something, or if they did not, uh, was not holding food from their mouth. And that was a wild ass experience, bro. I just went to the Mariners game, okay? Uh, Because we invited you. We got blessed with the good club area situation. Yeah, Uh, back out, unfortunately. It's all good, man. We'll catch it next time, but Terrace Club situations, and uh, it was cool. Okay, so everybody in there is fully masked down, okay, but it was people that 
put their guard down and nobody was sweating them. Okay. Yeah. Nobody really sweat I mean, them. How do you sweat, you know, 25 people in the area and, you know, you have the, did they still have the, I mean, the vaccinated section in, in center field, the pen? Because as far as I know, they still don't have to wear that in the pen if you're fully vaccinated. See, I didn't even walk around this time because we was in a, we went straight to the club. You didn't need to, dog. You had the right set up, bro. Yeah, we were just parlaying up there. But, um, yeah, so I didn't, you know, I didn't really take in the entire scene, but I just know that everybody was masked up. But in the club area, it was, it was, there were people taking their stuff off. But because, and I'll tell you where that first, uh, um, place was, it was a casino. And I'm in the, in the casino, and it's literally, I watched security tap people on the shoulder multiple times as they're like as i'm doing stuff and looking around going pull your mask up pull your mask up and it, it, that's like crazy just sitting there playing and 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 hanging out right yes so if you were just if you were in idle and just standing there and just decide to pull your stuff down give it 20 15 20 seconds or so somebody's gonna tap you on the shoulder and say hey put your mask up Literally, yeah. it happened to me after I pulled, after I took a sip of a drink and pulled it down and hadn't put my mask immediately back up, sir. Uh, I'm going to have you pull your mask up. So these type of things just make the the uh, in-person game uncomfortable. I think people will just not want to go because still, I mean, if you look at the way that they, you know, put it on the TV for us. There's no better way than to get that experience at home. You don't have to worry about public restrooms, all of this business, you know, yeah. make whatever stuff you want. So they're just going to just add to the, the you know, people's, you know, fans idea of screw them. I'm not paying those prices. I'll watch, get the home mix, home watching experience instead. Yeah, I feel it. Um, I still like to hit one. Well, I, there's like one more home stand. Thirty less than thirty games left. Speaking of MLB, um, mm-hmm. yo, guess who's in first place? Like I told you, are they back in first or tied? It don't matter. Why are you bringing up little details? But they, See, but that they stuff bring, don't even matter. But, but they play your Dodgers. He's referring to the Los Angeles Dodgers. That's uh, right. They for all you out there, yep. those big homies team. Um, they do play the Giants this weekend. Friday, yeah. Saturday, Sunday, baby. Going to be a big series for both y'all. It's all good. It's all on the line, as it always is. When it comes down to these two rivals along the west coast of the Pacific Ocean, it goes down heavy. And the MLB, if they know nothing else, because they don't know a lot, but they do not they do know to make sure to put a nice little three, four game series with the Dodgers and the Giants at the end of the season. All on the line. It's going to be a big weekend. Hey, my Mariners take on the Arizona Diamondbacks. Should be a, it should be a great 0-3 series for us. Mm. Um, you know, lose to the worst team in baseball. That's going to be typical how it goes. And if we don't, then uh, we'll, you know, pull out one game, go 1-2, and two, drop a few more games back. But, you know, prove me wrong, motherfuckers. Prove me wrong. Hey, they and, beat hey, the Royals when we were up there, man. You know what? I'm not I'm – not, I don't. I'm not feeling the over eight and a half yet. Yet, announced big homie. I'll see how tonight's game goes. See how the bullpens work. Okay. Uh, Mad bum, I think, is throwing tonight. I don't know who the Diamondbacks have the rest of the series. Uh, so, but you know me and the over of the Mariners. I think I'm about I don't know ninety five percent on my over bets with them, and I ain't even lying. Mm. Uh, when I feel it, I feel it. But I haven't felt it lately because they haven't hit the over. So we'll see how they do tonight. If they hit the over, then maybe we'll have to roll with them on uh, Saturday, Sunday. Because if they hit the over tonight, that'll be a good uh, recollection of how it's going to roll. So yeah, stay tuned. it was a good indication of what's really going on in their minds as the season is winding down. That's right. Get to get their head straight. All right, and now it's big homie. What's good? You want to take us to some NFL in a quick, uh, quick sec? Sure. You want to do a break first, or you want to jump into it? How you want to do? How you want to slice this up? Let's do a quick ten. I need to get that that Michelob Ultra real quick. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry. Ooh, a book club. 
computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. With Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Let's do it. Shout out. Now back to your weekly sports fix with Sticks. Back in Sukasa, back in your face. Sports fix with Sticks. We're about to jump into this NFL. Um, Sticks, rocking over there. Got all the knowledge for us. You know, the anonymous big homies always in the house. But, um, yo, the time finally came, man. So I was officially wrong, man. Hey, look, look, look. What hey, were you hey, wrong look. about? No, I'm about to, I'm, no, I'm about to, you see how slow my intro was. <laughs> I don't know if you, I, I don't, I don't know if you do knew what was going on right there. I'm like, this is a topic that for me, I'm, uh, this is wild right now. I, I, I feel like this is the wrongest I have been. The wrongest. Okay. <laughs> I don't even until know. You, that's until a, you said that, <laughs> you just made it work. <laughs> <laughs> this is the wrongest I have been. Okay. Man, Cam Newton's done in New England, man. Woo! Who called Call that? Your boy called it, bro. Man, all right, bro. So, so Bill, Bill Belichick um, gave him the gave him the release, the cut, the waiver. Um, and not only did he do that, I'm going to throw this little footnote in there, by the way, in the quarterback room, he also uh, expedited Brian Hoyer out of there. Okay, so that leads to clearly what the end result is. We'll get back to Cam in a second, but the end result is that QB1 is now Mac Jones. Mac Jones. Cha-ching. So what Slim was talking about from the last two podcasts when you were when you guys were going through the preview joints that we were doing when we were talking AFC East um, and the prospects for what would happen. And earlier than that, when we gave you the four first down QBs, okay, and their prospects for starting this year. Now back to Cam Newton. What did I say? You remember what I said? You don't remember what I said, dude. No, what'd you say? Mac Jones ain't going to see a snap. <laughs> Didn't I say come back, Cam? You did probably oh say come back, Cam. Oh, my God. I said come back, Cam. I said mark it up. Cam Newton, comeback player of the year. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, I said <laughs> mark it up. He's going to start all 16 games unless um, all, all the meaningful games. <laughs> Wrong. Okay. <laughs> I, I at least thought he was going to make it out of training camp wrong <laughs> so i don't even know what's going on right here i just knew how this was going to hey. be look this is going to be back because if every all the fans out there you know what i'm saying they know that i've been riding this just as hard as i've been riding the dallas cowboys and their potential <laughs> to come up yeah. okay? so i've been riding this so i was like yo i mean what did he do i mean what did he do i mean you think the covid drama got him or do you really think that it was play on the practice field come on man i mean uh, it's maybe he's still not right, man. His, his head. May, oh, according to this, I, I wish I, I just, this just came to me. I wish I knew the source, but according to, Oh, it was a, uh, we the source got Zolak of the Patriots. Did you hear this? You know, you know why? You know what he said about, uh, he said about, uh, uh, Cam Newton, why he's not, uh, <laughs> being a good quarterback. What's up? What'd he say? Because he listens to rap music, and wow, and dances okay. on the field. Okay, this is a this is a Patriots announcer says this. Wow, I forgot okay, all about that. I did not hear that. So yeah. clearly, we understand the opinions of Scott Zolak around here. Yeah, he said. Uh, he said that. <laughs> but man, no, I I mean, I'm I mean, I hope I 
I hope there's been rumors, of course, where Cam's going, but you know, Dallas or something, maybe back yeah. to Washington foot, maybe back to to the Washington football team back with Rivera. I don't see it. Um, I don't see that either, especially if he's not vaccinated after uh Rivera exactly. said, You motherfuckers quit playing, get your fucking vaccination. I'm you know, already been through chemo and all that, don't have a good immune system. Um uh, but uh man it you know, if he gets, if he gets somewhere, like I said, I, I, even though remember I said it early too, I believe that I said, I don't think he, he, uh, I don't, he even said it himself. First of all, I don't think he's, I don't think he's able, or he's, uh, t- in, in tune with being a backup. You know, he doesn't no. want to do that. And he even said it on the, uh, was it the, the, the shop? Uh, no, the, um, uh, he said on someone's show where he was like, I'm not, there's not, there's not 32 quarterbacks better than me. Right. He said this, he was saying this since last year. Yeah. He's been this was when it, he right? was trying to get his shot. Yeah. He was like, okay, the Patriots are giving me a shot. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and yeah, you, to be honest, man, I watched the games. I've seen some of the games get week two. Cam Newton's arm was live and he was off the field early because he just lit it up super efficient. So to be dead honest, back to the vax. Okay. Back to the vax. This is a strict. I don't care if they don't say it. They don't necessarily have to. It don't matter. He is not revealing his vaccination status. It's not his play on the field. That's just what it is. So if something happens, you're going to cost the team because of the rules that we've spoke about before that have been laid down in the NFL this year. We're not taking the risk. That's just yep. what it is. Bill it really Belichick is. is not a dude that's like uh, that's coming off of um, a, a pre-existing condition, cancer, or something like that, to where he's concerned like Ron Rivera is and should be. That's not his thing. His thing is winning, G, right? And if you messing up the uh, – possibly messing up the situation, which just happened last week, okay? And, and last ha- year when he got COVID. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly where I was going. So, look, we're going to have to bring back the weekly, uh, the weekly segment of this weekend who got it because <laughs> – um, Because, yo, he's not going to be – because Bill Belichick does not want that. He already saw last year what it looks like to have a depleted squad. He doesn't want to go through that at all, period. He at least wants to be able to put his quality of uh, uh, team, his product, on the field. And win or lose, if they don't do as good, because clearly Tom Brady's not walking through that door right now, right? So he just wants to put a good brand of – of of play on the field and last year he didn't have that so he's like you know what maybe i should just go hard i think he enjoys cam newton i think that they that he was a a, probably a pretty stand-up guy for them in the film rooms on the practice field and all of this it was just one of those things where you have to balance out if i'm managing this situation Am I really about to put my neck on the line and my players who busting their ass alongside of them? You don't even have the balls or the cojones or the guts to go get vaccinated so you could be available like them. Right. No, I'm not even trying to do that to this room. Well, even uh, did even Urban Meyer down in uh, Jacksonville is getting invest, not investigated, but getting uh, questioned by the NFL for his player cuts because he said, uh, that it, they did take that into uh, uh, evaluation when they were evaluating these players. Uh, so like the NFL is looking into it or whatever, but man, I mean, at the same time, if you're a coach and you know, I'm not sticking up for anybody, but I'm just saying, hypothetically, if you're a coach and you saw that happen to Lamar, it's happened to Lamar Jackson twice already. He's got mm. COVID twice, right? Fools be getting it twice. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're putting together a team and you're not a hundred percent sold on this QB one, and if he can make it through the whole season, whether, you know, it's COVID or injury or whatever the case may be, you have to look out for the best of your team. And I'm not, I'm not saying I'm sticking up for either side. I'm just saying as far as a coaching aspect of it, it makes sense. It does make sense. Exactly. Because guess what? 
I'm not about to be here for your fourth time getting COVID. Right. You know what I'm saying? What kind of what kind of party do you think this is? You think I'm just letting people chill up in here? This is not what it is. You know what I'm saying? Especially as it pertains to the Patriots, because we know how they operate a ship. So you know what? But see, you know what this means now. So I just like some of the aftermath of this. So who's the QB one? Okay. Mac Jones. Now, what does this mean? Slim dog. Guess what this means? You don't see you haven't even looked at this. Let me lace you up. What that you now means Mac versus Tua in the division all the time. Ooh, it's starting off a fire uh, um, series every year. Twice. They get to play twice. Uh, yes, sir. How about week one? Week one, they're in, right? Week Let's one starts it go. off. Let's go. So, I mean, this is crazy. So I think it's gonna be it's gonna be hot, man. Because I mean, you got these two Alabama quarterbacks, and shoot, I mean, shoot, Alabama's out here with the quarterbacks rocking. Now, I don't. I mean, I don't. Nobody knows how good any of them are, but you got Jalen Hurts out here for the Philadelphia Eagles, Mag getting his QB one on clearly, and you got Tua. I'm not gonna attempt to say his last name all over. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's it's one of those things to where they're out here. QB style trying to compete with Alabama's uh, uh, wide receiver alumni core out here because the wide receiver situation, you know, they've been doing it since Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, you know, more recently, you know what I'm saying? The robe man himself, Henry Ruggs, he's out here, Jerry Judy, you know, so, and uh, shoot, I don't even know, a gang of people, man, Amari yeah. Cooper, all kinds of people, man. So well, Alabama wide receivers and quarterbacks been out here putting their work and clearly, they have made themselves factors, you know what I'm saying, in the in the NFL. Uh, but yeah, no, I thought that uh in division rival former teammate situation is gonna go off. Woo, that's gonna be a good one, man. That's yeah, bro. That's uh you got uh I don't have it in front of me. There's a Alabama quarterback and wide receiver in um Philadelphia, there's an Alabama quarterback and wide receiver in Miami. And Devonte Smith. Oh, yo. Devante, yeah. Devonte oh, Smith. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. Waddle in Miami, right? Yo. Waddle. Waddle and Tua. Yeah. Hurts. Uh, the, yeah. Oh, my goodness, Smith, man. So, hey, man. And, and Saban. I'm surprised Saban doesn't have a, a Alabama wide receiver out there. He might. I don't know. But I'm going to have to check that out. Yes, sir. What else you got? What else you got? Man. All right, man. I got one for you, man. Yo, well, I mean, we, we talking about cuts because, you know, season's about to start. Everybody went down to the 53-man rosters and this and that, right? What's up with your man, Dan Campbell? Is he too busy biting people's kneecaps to not uh, fill out his uh, roster form properly? He cut both the kickers that he had from... The only kickers that they had in the in Only the kickers. Camp? Only kickers. Cut. So... What do, is his is Detroit's plan to run four downs? Well, I think they finally. I, I believe they heard. I believe they signed a kicker the other day. Finally, but okay, if, well, that, that was a Tuesday when they cut it. Today's Friday. They might have didn't. They don't think they signed a kicker till yesterday. So I mean, kickers are. Don't even get me started on kickers. Motherfuckers cost us some money sometimes. But 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 with I that being said, for that. again, you know what? I'm going to contradict myself. Because you know what my 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 play, one of my favorite plays in the NFL is. What's that? Spider two wide banana. Well, that too. Yes, that is definitely the most favorite. But over three and a half field goals in a game. Oh yeah! Oh for sure! Oh, yeah 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 yeah! At the counter. So, yes. Yeah. So we we that's just a little tidbit for y'all out there that uh, stay tuned because uh, we got uh, we got facts and and paper and documents to back it up so receipts receipts there you go baby you know, so we got to keep our eyes on detroit man i have no idea what they're cooking up i mean is, 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 is the is the head coach that stupid that he turned in the final cuts without a kicker i mean is there any possibility that he did that even, purposely you know i mean you they, even, how do you even do that i mean your I mean, roster's you have, not full you have two guys there. What? How do you not have the guy that you're going to sign like there already? Like have three kickers there. I don't know. 
That's They're what I'm th- sense. Somebody you got has to make the team. That's like me going through fantasy and doing my draft and saying, I'm just going to fill up my roster and I'm not going to roll with a kicker. Okay, so look, I don't have somebody else I can plug into that position, <laughs> right? right? I can go sense. get another guy that I can plug in somewhere else to ride the bench for me as needed. He can play, but I don't, he ain't going to jump in at the kicker spot. So guess what I have to do? Exactly what he just did. Cut somebody else in order to go find the kicker. So maybe, okay, devil's advocate. Maybe he was waiting to see who everybody else cut. And maybe he can grab one of those. I just thought of that right now. Maybe that, so, yeah. maybe that's what he was trying to do. He didn't like either one of the kickers he had. I mean, I, I don't know. I just can't think that he's stupid enough. I mean, he's, he's he talks like a wild boy, but I don't just he can't is. think that he's stupid enough to turn in the fifty three man roster without kickers on it on purpose. I mean, I don't know. It's wild. Yo, know, it, it's milestones popping off around here too. Milestones. My, well, I don't know. Milestones I, Athletic Supply in Richland, Washington. That's my shout out. Hey. Okay. Okay. Like well, okay. Anybody in Richland, Washington, go check out Milestones. I like that you brought that up. That's a little free advertising for my guy. Hey. hey. Hey, they didn't even have to pay for that spot. I like that. Nah. Freestyle spot they gave. But no, I mean, I don't know if you can call it a milestone. But oh, real talk. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. Laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Ravens ain't never lost. Okay? They're like LeVar Ball out here. Never lost. This guy. You know what I'm saying? LeVar Ball. A preseason game, though. I mean, so they're basically what happened is the Ravens have won 20 straight preseason games. So we're talking about four or five seasons nonstop of winning every preseason game. Now, even with some fuckery, you bound to lose a preseason game. You would do there. Right. So, I mean, is that is that something or nothing? Hey, right now it's nothing. Because if they won a championship in those uh, 20 game, preseason games that they've won in the those, however many years that is, it's Hell nothing, no. dog. It's nothing. It, I mean, it's not even nothing for continuity that we have this little thing that everybody who comes in that's trying out for the squad knows that in the preseason, while you put on this pads and you might never get this uniform ever again, but, hey, we've got this five-year streak going. Maybe it's you can get it. fucking advertising. <laughs> That's what that is. You'll call hey, Duke. come play, come play for the Ravens. We got this massive squad. You know, hey, look, check it out. We've been uh, we've been undefeated in the preseason for the last five years, bro. Come check it out, man. We're good. And all of a sudden, you get to the game. You get to the playoffs. Yeah. Do you lose in the divisional or the uh, yeah the conference the divisional yeah. round? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, false You're call dude, man. I mean, there's dudes, okay? It's like playing Summer League NBA. There are dudes who've won a Summer League championship before. There are dudes that played on an undefeated Baltimore Ravens preseason team before. That, don't that sound like something that I can put on a resume? <laughs> I played for the undefeated Baltimore Ravens in the preseason, ah, bro. Yeah, nah, I don't know, man. Get out of hey. here with that bullshit. <laughs> Yo, hey, what do you think of the uh the possibility for San Francisco to be running both quarterbacks out there? Yo, what are they doing? Um do you I, I do, saw, do you like it, love it, or or think something else? Uh 
I think that Trey Lance will be the starter before week seven, as I said, week seven. Uh, um, yeah, what did I say? I said – You said week eight. I said, okay, all right, we're in the same ballpark. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it just sounds like – I mean, I don't know. I haven't got to see any of the San Francisco games, but uh, uh, my boy at work, Jacob Campbell, he uh, he's a big Niners fan. He was talking about – we were talking about that the other day. And uh, he said they were like rotating like plays, and I'm like rotating plays. Yeah, bro. Not trying this. Like no, literally rotating plays. And yes. I'm like, what the fuck is going on there? So I I'm assuming, and I think that uh, Shanahan uh, announced Garoppolo as the starter. Did he not? Uh, yes. Okay. So I mean, is this some Taysom Hill bullshit that they're trying to do? But I mean. Not as athletic, but and, – and, and, and then back to Trey Lance, he has like a micro injury in his finger or something. Right. That I think that's one, one of those of things where like, game. you know what, check it out. Um, you're, quote, unquote, hurt this week. Uh, Garoppolo is mm. going to have a quicker hook than you think that um, uh, Andy Dalton does, dog. I think Garoppolo is going to have a quicker hook than, uh, than uh, Dalton in Chicago. I think uh, we – I, I don't have their schedule in front of me, but yeah, I got it right. Two here. or two or three games in, if Garoppolo isn't Garoppolo, I mean, he might be checked out already, dog. I mean, he was le- he didn't play the whole last year, hardly at all, whatever. Um, and you and and Shanahan has a a sweet sweet tooth for for Lance, bro. Like it, it's gonna be a quick hook, quick hook than than Chicago, in my opinion. I don't know, man. I, hey, I want him to try it. I just want him to try it against the, against Aaron Donald one time. I want to see how that would work out. I, the, it, all, I think nuts and bolts, all that really means to me that I think is you're absolutely right. Garoppolo's uh, line is a whole lot shorter than I originally thought. That's what that tells me. And like I said, I have watched some games, watched some quarters with, and this is after halftime quarters of preseason, so I could really see what's going on from some of these guys uh, since nobody played anyway. No, no, you know what I mean? No first stringers played anyway. But nevertheless, um, I don't know. Lance did not look impressed. I mean, the, the first big blast where he threw across his body and that was wowing to everybody because, oh, my God, it almost looks like Patrick Mahomes. OK, a little bit. I mean, I mean, but it also looks like Baker Mayfield. He does that, too. OK, <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not impressed. I say like what I initially thought or initially thought I should say was ride out Jimmy Garoppolo until you find out that he's washed or trash and then play him. But all of this 50 50 business or something close to that. I, I don't know, man. I say, I mean, I think it would be interesting. We see what the MLB is out here doing with pitching. And there's when uh, a major league high in wins with 30 games left, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get it, give y'all some of that too. 30 games left is 15. Okay. This is not Greg Maddox. This ain't Roger Clemens out here. This ain't Andy <laughs> Pettit out here. So it's the same type of situation. I mean, like, I, I, don't, I don't know if they're trying to bring some creativity to the situation, use weapons that they have more often, kind of like um, Indianapolis used to do with uh, Jacoby Brissett and more recently, um, uh, teamed up with Philip Rivers, they would run him out there for a play or two, right? But, you know what I mean? But that's just that's... odd, like rotating every play. Like that doesn't make. I mean, Shanahan's a great mind, comes from a great football background, but sometimes there's, <laughs> it's like trying to put a um, um it, it's trying to get a a, a freaking um automated uh digital strike zone in mlb right and i'm not trying right. to go into the mlb thing it, it's not part of the game and it's a terrible idea in my opinion it's a fucking terrible idea so how do you expect your uh offensive line to get this right cadence from your quarterback uh if you have different quarterbacks in there because you have uh the the, the offensive line and the receivers and all that they they come up with that uh, camaraderie with the quarterbacks to you know get off the line quicker or to to get ready to break the route off 
And if you're switching quarterbacks, I know there's different plays. I get that for maybe the different situation, but how fucked up is your mind as a, as a, as a offensive player when you're like, Oh, Garoppolo's here. Lance is here. Uh, I got to listen for maybe the hut hut is different from, Mm -hmm. you know, each quarterback. So it's, that's just wild to me. Like it doesn't make any sense. And I, like I said, I'm not on the field, so I don't know, but that's just, maybe he's like trying to go too far outside the box in my opinion. Well, um, this is what I, this is where my uh, conclusion came to was, okay, so what do the playbooks look like? Are, are there two different playbooks? Right. And if there, if there are two different playbooks, what happened if one of us goes down, we're only using half of what <laughs> True. we normally do, or is it, Okay, now here's the here. Would, this would be the stupid part. It is just one playbook, but they're running both of us out there, and it's the same play regardless. So all you're just looking for is the a different person to execute the same play. Now that's stupid. That's my conclusion on the 49ers because they always doing dumb stuff, man. I've been having my eye on them since I was a young buck watching Joe Montana do us wrong. Okay, so they always doing something stupid more recently. Yeah, you know, it's the hardball and all of that. Seahawks know all about this too. Seahawks fans, y'all yeah. know about this. 49ers have been up to some shenanigans this whole time. So, but anyway, man, forget all of them, man. I don't even like talking about them anyway. But like, yo, I'm a hey, back to what I ended the show off with last week. Remember, I said on yeah. the anniversary of Hurricane Katrina, right? You know what I'm saying? We got this other hurricane rolling up, same day, same time, same back channel. You know what I'm saying? Hurricane Ida rolled up on New Orleans. Matter of fact, rolled all the way up to damn New York, okay? Causing drama, kicking up dust. Well, water, houses, and shit, and, you know, garbage dumpsters across and all in the middle of the street. But it's kicking up a lot of stuff. Um, so as a result of this, you know, I mean, we found this out fairly early, but first game week one for New Orleans is a home game game or well it was a home game the new orleans home game has been moved to jacksonville so they lose lose a home game and the big home field advantage that all saints have had more recently since they took paper bags off their head um that they enjoy in the louisiana superdome um what does that do for New Orleans and their schedule? Because they even ha- they haven't even faced COVID yet, but yet they have, you know, their, you know, bi yearly natural disaster they got to deal with by going practicing in Dallas, okay, and then having their game played outdoors in Duval County, Jacksonville to be exact, um, with heat, humidity, and the elements. I mean, what does that do to New Orleans and your boy Jameis? He he knows what's up. Say, he James knows what's up, right? Element, dog. You don't want to see Jameis. You don't want to see Jameis in the sunshine with his eyes fixed, mm. throwing to see in there okay. the colors of the jerseys, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it is gonna be a show. Maximum go lighting. Say, he throws for four hundred yards. Four hundred wow. yards, week one. Is it against uh, the uh, Green Bay Packers? Wow. Yes, it is. Against Green Bay, too. <laughs> against Green Bay. It's not out of it. I'm writing that down so we can reference that in a couple weeks. Be I there. mean, now that you said it, it's not out of the realm of thinking. I mean, it starts, is. Yeah. Davis gets his first start back in Florida. Doesn't have to be in the same area, but right. it's in Florida. He yep. played in the sun a while. He's excited. He's ready to go get some crab legs. You know, and hit the hit the town. Um, he's he's gonna be. He's <laughs> you almost gonna slid be that all one by in. me. I caught that. I caught that. He almost <laughs> slid that one by me. With he gonna roll, roll through the city with a handful of crab legs. Oh, uh, he's ready to roll. He's gonna. He might even. He might even take a little quick trip back to Tallahassee and hit the same old uh, supermarket and be like, "Hey, yeah, can I get some of those crab legs?" And then act it out, put a little on TikTok or uh, uh, Instagram. And then play it out, and then you know what? Next day, you know, and pays for the crab legs this time, of course. And then That's next right. next day, he rolls out and he throws for four hundred plus three TDs. Okay, mark it up, mark it up, Homie, what, what, hometown play of the week, dog. Oh, you heard what he said. 
Hey, but a little, but for real though, I know you're fired up. I know that's your boy. That's your man's. That's your man's. But no, no. what does that put? What position does that put them in now? That essentially that's a third road game at the top of their schedule. So you say, okay, he comes out clean in this one. But week two, they have to go to Carolina, then go to New England before hoping. Okay, for we four that the stadium doesn't have issues because word on the street is the stadium's fine. It's just they don't want people down there blocking the driving for repairs and you know all the stuff that needs to go on. So, what do you think they do in those three in those three games? Since you got him blowing the spot up, you didn't mention him winning week one, but you, you said he would light it up. But what do you sure. what do you say? What, what do you think they go with uh, the Packers? Panthers and Patriots top of the schedule, uh, given the circumstances with the hurricane. Well, I still think, you know, um, we referenced this last week. I think, uh, we both agreed on there about a nine win team, even at nine wins. Um, you know, it does kind of hurt their chances playing in, in indoors at the, at the Superdome. If they're going to miss that many games, um, being, you know, not playing at home, then, you know, I, if it wasn't against Aaron Rodgers in the first game um, at in Jacksonville, I definitely put my money on New Orleans. But I mean, I'm I'm high on Aaron Rodgers this week or this year for some reason. All over Aaron Rodgers this year. Um, not to give away any of my secrets, and not big homie, and I'll Don't smack the true. fuck out of you if uh, Boy. Uh, when we, when we do your ass up when we when we do our draft on Sunday our fantasy football draft, the, the sports fix with sticks and not as big homie draft. If this is funner, um, Aaron Rodgers was a pick of mine in the last draft that I did. Okay. And I rolled with him because I think he's going to have high hopes. So without that, with that being said, I still think new Orleans is a nine win team, even though they are going to start off, not in home, not at home. Um, I still think they can pull it out. I really think that, uh, uh, you you know what you'll let me say this mm-hmm. you'll be able to tell how the new orleans season is going to roll out by the after the first three weeks of mm-hmm. Jameis being at, at quarterback yeah. if he gets 99 percent of the stamps of course sean payton's going to pull out some bullshit taste some hill stuff right right um, of course but if you roll with Jameis and Jameis is hot it could be a different ball game like you referenced before not 30 for 30 but 30 and 12 he gets he he changes the game. All right, man. I feel you, man. I think uh like I like I said, you you were smart by not mentioning <coughs> uh the winning in that, but I think that they 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 have an opportunity to go two and three in this run because playing on the road is not like you know, they took the Oregon trail up to, uh, you know, New England, you know, and they're on private jets. They got the PJ, you know what I mean? And they're flying. Yeah. They're staying proper. Yeah. It maybe throws off their practice situation as far as where they're practicing. But like I said, nowadays, the way that uh, the NFL travel and the, the way the business model is is so luxurious, man, I don't think it affects them like that really. Uh, I mean, I'm sure players are going to be caring about the ones that live there in the city. If they do have homes and still be caring about that and have business there, but I don't know. They have a good opportunity. The Patriots is the, is the big battle. I think I, they can go up to Carolina and sneak that one out week two, you know, given what they have versus what the Panthers have. But I mean, the Panthers are tough too. We already know that. Um, Yo, hey, you man, you know what, man? Too, since I mentioned it early, man, you know what? I might as well just fire up uh, this week in Who Got It. I mean, I need, I need some, I need music for this. I wish I had the producer on right now, so I could tell him. You know, I need, I need like a little, a little something, just a little, you know, a little jingle or something. But yeah, this weekend, Who Got It? This week, we got it. We got it. That's right, man. Hey, the only reason I wanted to do it this week. Is because I uh, we haven't meant we didn't mention it, but we mentioned it last week because of a little bit of news. Tennessee's back at this shit again. It ain't just one person. Wait, what last happened? year the, Tennessee is I'm the Tennessee Titans. This week in who got it? Okay, number one Tennessee Titans. Tennessee Titans were the ones last year that fucked everybody's schedule up. If anybody forgot, okay. 
they fucked up mad team schedules last year in, as they were trying to deal with COVID and not knowing what the fuck they, you have to do. 18 months later, well, it ain't been 18 months later as far as that goes, but oh, damn near a year later, a season later, I would like to think that we were a little bit smarter than we were a year ago, 12 months ago, 365 days ago. There's vaccines out here. We, we, we know what we're dealing with. They're back at this shit again. So it's not just one person. I said the Tennessee Titans. We talked about last week. Okay. We said it was, you mentioned, you brought it to the, to the top of the program and said that Vrabel got it. What'd he do? He hugged up with uh, Ryan Tannehill somewhere? Because he got it. Five other people got it. They up to nine people. They got the, they got more cases after last week. Yeah, dog. Yo, nine I haven't people. even seen that yet. Nine people is on this man. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we we're talking about. I mean, clearly we're talking about coaches, and you know, because the news, you know, in, as it's in regard to players, you know, is. You know, you know, the guys, if it was somebody of of major consequence, we would have known outside of Ryan Tannehill. And there has been there's guys, though, but there's people that work up top. Coaches. okay, so they're trying to they're bringing people up from the practice squad. Yeah, we're going to have that damn no quarterback shit again this year because they don't know how to act. I mean, Tennessee didn't do that. That was Denver. We know that. But. I mean, Tennessee is back at this shit again, man. And I mean, I wish I had uh, an award. I had named an award for this. But as for right now, until this comes to be a fully fleshed out segment of the program, for right now, they land in this week. Uh, this weekend, who got it? Because they got it. Okay. Who else got it? Man, look at after all this talk about the Cowboys, here we go. CD Lamb got it. Yeah. The wide receiver crew. C.D. Lamb got it. Okay, that was day one. First piece of news, C.D. Lamb got it. I said, damn. Reason why I said, damn, is because I jumped the board. Jumped, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? I jumped it a little bit, and I'm a little anxious. I wanted to just do a free fantasy situation real quick, just to, you know, because I had the itch, as I usually do. Fired one up on ESPN. I pulled C.D. Lamb. On top of all the Dallas Cowboys shit I've been giving everybody and hyping it up, I end up with C.D. Lamb, and he is on the COVID situation. You didn't hear about this. So he got hit. I, I saw C.D. Lamb, and I saw there was a couple other guys, uh, I think a defensive player, um, but they're back now, I believe. Right. So I'm just making sure that everybody knows – who got it? Now, it's, uh, it's right. of less consequence because they have plenty of time, as you you were, I think, were alluding to, that they have plenty of time prior to week one, which is what I was happy to see. I don't want this to affect week one. Let us get go. Let us get some quality uh, football for, you know, w- uh, three weeks or so, you know, with teams at full strength. OK, let us get that, um, especially with the expanded uh, season. Let us get that. Um, but, uh, seems like everybody's going to be back and in full strength for week one. Uh, but this segment what, clearly is going to get, it's going to get fleshed out because the the lineup is going to be heavy. What teams, what teams have we had so far that have had a case? We had Lamar. So Baltimore, we've had Dallas, we've had Tennessee, mm-hmm. uh, already in, in the preseason, um, who else is? Has there been anybody else that we're missing? Oh, shoot, man. Did, I think I, I pretty much think that that's about what we got. I mean, oh, and those snap. Are the wait, wait, wait. Members? No, 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 no. Somebody oh, got it today. Somebody oh. was announced today. And I got it in my, I, well, I didn't put it in my notes. Shit, I didn't see Jameson that. Jameson Crowder. Yet. Jameson Crowder. Zach Wilson. Boy. Wide receiver, fantasy football wide receiver for the New York in football the Jets. Jets. Huh? Okay, he got it. Hey, wow. a late entry into this weekend. Who got it? Uh, yeah, Jameson Crowder got it. Now that was that one was fresh. 
Um, I can't think about any other. Uh, I think that was pretty much it, man, because I think a lot of people, a lot of the teams, as far as I remember, um, I mean, Carson Wentz for a second, I think, had was on the list, and I think it was a contact situation. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, uh, Philly, Philly had, or uh, Indy had a little quick one. Yeah. I'm yeah, thinking... it was like a contact. And then uh, Cam was on it because he went to somewhere else. Oh, right. So, Patriots too. so, we had like five teams already, dog. And oh, KC uh, too. I forgot. See, you know what? I should have rolled all this down. It's all coming back to me. Well, I, I didn't even think that about I had it until now. Taryn, well, Taryn Matthew. Taryn Matthew got it. Oh, that's well, right. At least, at least he was placed on the list. Now, I don't, I'm going to call the segment this weekend who got it. I don't care what you're on the list for. We just, it just sounds, I like yep. it. I got it. This weekend, who got it? Referenced right there. But um, yeah, man. So, I mean, I just hope that it don't it doesn't mess up a whole lot of stuff, man. I think we're gonna be good, but you yeah, know, we'll I see. It, I mean, there's panned out. There's a bunch of different fucking variants and all that bullshit going around, and um, you know, dealing with uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, last year they locked them. They locked them down. You said you go to the hotel, you do this, so. Yeah, I think they got the right protocols in place and they got everything going. It sounds like the the um we'll have to wait till next week before we or uh yeah, next week before week one and find out what the actual protocols are because you know there's gonna be hella protocols out there yep. that people are talking about. Okay, well, this is actually what's gonna happen if this happens. And everybody, you know the NFL, they don't want to fuck up their money in, in the gambling industry where they get 200 million by the end of the year with the lucky land slots you can get lucky just about anywhere this is your captain speaking uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky no no nothing like that it's just these cash prizes add up quick so i suggest you sit back keep your tray table upright and start getting lucky play for free at luckylandslots.com are you feeling lucky no purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Uh, from, from the gambling aspect, so they're going to want to make sure this is all known, just why they have, uh, you know, the inactives prior to the game and they have the starters you know uh reference to and all that so you know we'll 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 get the fine details of of the covid protocol by next week for sure but it sounds like it's 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 not um 14 days or two weeks sounds like it's more like seven days type thing now and three days if it's a uh contact and shit like that so yeah man Oh, shoot, I got one more for you, man, and I'll put a button on this uh, NFL coverage because uh, we're in a lame duck week as we move into week one, firing up next Thursday for everybody. Um, But I started to have a little thought earlier because we went through the hierarchy of the NFL. We, you know, tied it all up with win totals and all of this, and we found, I think that we both found that there's a uh, there's definitely a cream of the crop in the in the NFL right and and it's kind of like it just is right it, we we know that these guys are reliable or we expect them to be extremely reliable in terms of their seasonal results and then there's some teams we don't expect shit from right we don't expect a damn thing from them okay for different reasons right be, because they're rebuild. They lost some guys, new coach, you know, whatever the case may be. And then you got that middle, that middle. And I'm going to ask you about that middle, man. So this is the, this is what I thought of. Who is the team that's out there in these streets 
that if they don't make the playoffs, okay, here's the that's the cat that's that's the uh, the premise. Don't make the playoffs. Okay, Got it. that if they do not make the playoffs, needs to be blown up top to bottom. Okay, so the reason why I say this is because it has to be a team that's been out here with multiple drafts. Okay. Shit has not been working. So you got to look at the front office and what's going on. So clearly, since it has not been working, you have to look at the coach. Has the coach been there for a little bit? Okay. Is it his fault? Is it his first year? Okay. Or, you know, and you look at the play on the field. Okay. So, and the reason why I say play on the field is because they're in the middle. They haven't made the next step. And it's been that way. Who is under the most pressure? You know how you watch some of these dumbass shows. They be trying to bite what we out here doing, talking about what coach is on the hot seat. Sometimes it ain't even the coach's fault. Sometimes he been at this shit for only two years. And the last coach who was here was only here for two years because this GM be, keeps on serving up a bunch of bullshit and he gets bad results or mediocre results and things like this. So I'd want to throw that out to you. You got somebody that pops right into your head right off the bat? Well, it's kind of a roundabout question because you gave me all these different uh, aspects of this and that and been there and not been there and all that. So can you give me a hint of where you're going with this? Because I okay. think I might know uh, off the top of my head to answer your question. Go ahead. What? All right. Uh, this is the first team that I thought of. Okay. And, and the reason had- why... Since you asked me the question, the I was looking through trying to figure it out what kind of what you're talking about. Yeah. So after what you just said, I think what I would go with would be Arizona. You think they need to be blown up so quick? By what you said of being there for a couple years. What year uh, is this whole, for Kyler? Huh? What year is this for Kyler and Clingsbury? Was it three? Two? Uh, I don't know, man. Two I think you know, it might be three. I mean, yeah, okay, we'll give okay. it three. Because you said not there for a, or you said, uh, it could be a, a lot of. Years. It could you be. It could be. Years. A, yeah, because it can't be not a, a whole that, bunch of years. Because I have a other. I have a few that are a whole bunch of years. Well, it that could, need to be blown up. It could be that too, because it could. Be, this is the reason. So, so they could be there for seven years. In mediocrity mm-hmm. and like who are you saying your flame is half as short this year or your fuse is half as short this year because if y'all don't do it after being in mediocrity and just missing the playoffs by one game just missing the wild card by one game for six years in a row or maybe you made it once you know what i mean right yeah so what do you got on this because i think i'll have a better rebuttal once you tell me okay i'm all right then i'll have some ideas All right, well, I'll tell you who I thought of. And the reason why I thought of this team first is because of who they were. And who they were was at the top of the hill multiple times. And it it doesn't seem like it was that long ago, okay? So the team that I thought of right off the rip, okay, was New York football giants. Now, the reason why I say this is because Gettleman is your GM there. He has been there for a good long ass time. Okay. It seems like it was just yesterday, but he been there for a minute. Okay. Now he didn't pick Odell Beckham. He was there in 17 and he had, he's had multiple firsts, including Saquon Barkley. Okay. Evan Ingram, Eli Apple. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if those are the right choices. I don't know what is the situation, who was available. But I'll look at what their play is on the field. And now, now they went out and got Galladay. You had, uh, I forgot, I forgot about my uh, my good call. He selected the wide receiver, Daniel Jones. I, I'm slipping for a minute. I'm a little bit off track. But yeah, Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, bunch of other dudes more recently and he's been here since 17 
So this is going to be year five for him out here. I think the pressure's on the Giants to break through, given that division and how wide open it could be if they put the package together. They've had some injuries with Saquon. Is is this the time where they go, you know what, let's just throw in our cards on Saquon. The injury situation is all bad. We're not trying to deal with this. We'll put him in the Todd Gurley basket and we'll get out early And because it's just a bad move. We understand our mistakes. Or do they hit the turd? You know what I mean? And then we just come, we just get off of Daniel Jones. We get off of Saquon. Joe Judge, I mean, he just got there. Is I was it, gonna it, say, it, does he catch year, right? Yeah. So does he catch shrapnel? Or the or, or does he go, look, it ain't my fault. I, mean, I, I didn't pick, I only picked one year's worth of these guys or helped you guys scout one year of these guys so far. These aren't all of my guys. And uh, so the first one I had that came up to, especially now, the reason why I say that coming from Eli, okay, coming from Eli, being a two time Super Bowl winner, being the only team to dethrone the GOAT twice in the Super Bowl, okay, and then have this, they just float. So that's who I had. I think that the Giants, man, if they don't show up something this year after having five years in this system or, you know, I mean, under this leadership, starting with the GM, he clearly wasn't down with the first head coach, then brought in Joe Judge. If it don't happen this year, man, I think the Giants going to have to blow it up. They're going to have to do it like the Knicks and start from scratch. You know, I, I, I can't disagree with you on that one too much. Um, I just think it's from a, a, a weak division, as we both know, the the a weak division. So he's probably going to get a little more opportunity another couple of years there to figure it out and see what happens. And <clears throat> kind of the same aspect of Arizona. Arizona's in a tough division. And we could, we could talk about this for hours if you really want yeah. to. Um, but the other, uh, I think we referenced it too last week, um, that you're talking, I even talked about it last week where we were talking about Chicago with uh, Pace as a GM and then the um, head coach being there for a few years. I forgot his name now. I referenced it last week, but um, we talked about the NFC, the National Football Conference there. Um, Chicago probably has a pretty quick uh, blow up aspect of it too, even though they brought in um Jalen or Fields right Justin Fields yeah Nagy Nagy's all yeah Nagy he's got some problems they were talking bad about him last year with the Trubisky situation so yeah so they're gonna give this the head coach one more chance so maybe that's where you know don't blow up the whole thing like your reference to Saquon there but um that could be a way to go and then um the other one to be honest with you go ahead uh it, it it might be the Seahawks bro it oh. might be the Seahawks. Oh, I hit. you know, I'm not. I'm he's not keeping it real perfect. out here. I'm not saying I believe in Pete. I believe in Coach hey. Pete. Hey, but you know, if Russell's talking about getting out, and um, you know, they hey. just signed. They get. They have Snyder and they have um, Coach Pete for another couple years, few years, but. You have them off your you have them off your playoff list, Manos, mm-hmm. big homie. So I thought that's where you were going with this is 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 blowing it up. So um you have not specifically, your- but not specifically, but yeah, I'm glad that you went <laughs> there. I wasn't I trying to see, lead you to it. I can see the eyes of where it happens if you know there's gonna be a buyout. Coach Pete, Coach Pete is a little bit hey, all you Seahawks fans out there, I'm not a hater. I'm a realist, dog. I'm a realist. I talk, we talk real around here. We're all about the truth. And I can see that happening. You know what? I know how Seahawks fans are. They're brutal, dog. They're brutal. They'll buy the jersey one week, wear it to the game, bring it back <laughs> the fucking next day. Oh, they lost. You're bringing that back? Uh, uh, for real? Yeah. Come on now. Hey. Uh, I'm a true fan. I, I love it. You 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 know why I watch games by myself? Because I can't be acclimated with people around me. I get too fired up. And now it's big homie. You know what happens. Man. You were at the trap. 
You were at the trap on the playoff game. What happened when I called you? Wilding the fuck out. Wilding out. Super Bowl. Uh, but yeah, dude, I think I think in all reality, uh, if the things don't go the Seahawks way this year, it could be ugly, bro. It could be a blow process. I mean, we'll see where everybody's heads at. And I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be fine. I think they're going to win the division and they're going to show some people how it is. I have faith in them this year. Hey, all of that's real talk and real possibilities. It, 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 hey, look, that's not the first time that's been mentioned on this show. We talked about, is it coach Pete or is it Russell or before True. we talked about potential of a device. So that's not new situations. And another one, you know I mean? It's just to throw out there, even though I think that this particular coach is going absolutely nowhere. He owns this place is the Las Vegas Raiders. Okay. Right. So, I mean, but it could be, it might be bye-bye time for Derek Carr. Okay. It's, and he's already, it's already been reports out there that they have tried to uh, get in contact with the Chicago Bears and saying that it, that they regret the Khalil Mack move. Okay, so if you tucking your tail between your legs, saying that that move that you made was bad and you would like the guy back, what would it take for us to get the guy back after you already got assets for him, right? And those didn't clearly didn't work. If you're asking for the man back, it's wild over there. We don't even know what they're doing. There's talk that the Vegas Raiders, well, not the Raiders themselves, the players are cashed out. They got the big bag, but the owner is semi-broke or the team ain't, get, ain't, get, ain't getting money right. So I don't know if there's mismanagement going on over there, but Mayock might be up out of there. You know what I mean? If Gruden doesn't see fit, Gruden ain't going no damn where. Gruden going to be sitting there like uh, uh, Mike Holmgren. Yeah, He's just, got, what, five years left on his 100 100- million dollar contract or whatever he ain't going nowhere okay yeah he's he's living his best life even though it's the most agonizing best life of all time because he hates losing mark davis uh is it mark davis who uh uh, and he's building the house in uh outside the outskirts of las vegas that looks like the the roomba dome front entrance or whatever wow um that's where all the money is well fuck uh, Gruden d- gonna build two of them. Yes, he sir. doesn't need. <laughs> he's gonna build two of them twice the size, right next to his ass, and say, "Who's got the bigger dick right now?" You know, with all this money you're giving me, son. And you know what? And I'm glad you brought up the Raiders, bro. And I, we could talk all night about this. And back to the quarterback, you referenced Derek Carr, right? Mm-hmm. Mariota and Peterman. Have been the backup quarterbacks for what? Uh, Mariota's been there two years. Peter has been there like five. Okay. So Gruden has a a soft spot in his heart for both of these dudes. We talked about the quickest hook earlier. Yee, dog. There might be some, there might be some controversy out there in Las Vegas, bro. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Peterman or, or, or Mariota get the start. Not the start, but I mean, get a start soon. I mean, I don't know, man. That's a wild situation, too, because Chucky does not like to lose, and he's been he losing. Don't. He don't. But see, here's the thing, though, man. And like I said, see, I'm blowing it up. Blow that shit up, dog. Blow <laughs> it up. Get rid I of mean, Chucky. You owe him a no. lot of money anyways. You can't do that. You can't do that. He's still a he's still a quick football mind, man. He still he still has it. But he is the shit have... working? The shit's not working. Dude, look, they had only four wins like okay. two years okay. ago. Okay, then Baltimore they had seven. Ravens preseason. Then they had seven. Okay. And last year they had eight. That's <laughs> that's that's slow money. That's good slow money. I mean, what, what's going on here? I mean, they went eight and eight. I mean that's that's good hey, slow money. You, now, now, like I'm, now I'm gonna get nine. Or let, eight, me or... non, let me use a not let me use a non big ro- uh, a non big homie reference. How we long ain't walking through that door. Uh Lyle Alzado ain't walking through that door. Ah, Tom Flores ain't walking, walking through, through, that through that door. Bo Jackson ain't like walking say, through right? that door. Big homie? <laughs> that's Willie Gall like is not say. walking through that door. Yeah. I stole it and I am proud of it. I ain't even fucking lying. 
there ain't no <laughs> and 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 uh, what oh man i lost it what's his fucking name uh he ain't coming back alive al davis he ain't coming back from heaven dog john madden is not walking through them doors right now yeah okay art uh, shell yeah everybody <laughs> what else what else you got homie hey <laughs> <laughs> we, can get, we can keep going. Cliff Branch is not walking through that door right now. Okay, Fred Belitnikoff is not walking through that door right yeah, now. Yeah, see? Okay, two. Marcus Tuiasa Sopo is not walking through that door right now. He never even entered the fucking door, Clown. <laughs> what? Yeah, he did. Did he play for the Raiders? He did, but he, I don't know if you call it that. Shout out to the UW <laughs> people. Sorry, my apologies. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Speaking of the Raiders, I, I'd be dumbfounded and, and be a big jerk since I am the, the Seahawks fan on this on this podcast. Uh, KJ Wright did sign with the Las Vegas Raiders. Maybe he gets them to 10. So as you referenced to, remember KJ, or not? KJ Wright's worth a game now? <laughs> hey, he's definitely worth a, worth a game. Uh, he was on the NFL a, 100 with no team. Exactly what you referenced to, right, homie? You hey. talked about that last week, dog. You said, hey, why is this dude not signed? We talked about it. So shout out to KJ Wright for getting on, getting back in uh, the NFL ranks. Sad to see him leave. I thought maybe they would be able to, uh, to, to, to find a spot for him, but I'm sure the money wasn't right. And, you know, he's, you know, he's, he was the longest tenured Seahawk until this year. So you know, shout out to him for getting uh, getting back on the field. We we've talked about it. You know, there's no way he hasn't been signed, and 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 the Raiders are getting a good one. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I definitely think he's gonna be able to be an asset to their team. Uh, I have to see what my uh, my boy John Haran in in uh, California thinks about that. But um, you know, hey. <laughs> that was that was a good little ride we just went on there right there homie you just, you just to close it out you just can't be uh in a nfl top 100 player and not be on a squad right but you know what before we close it out we should probably you want to go over the the picks real quick our, our uh you know our asc playoff picks and our nfc playoff picks real quick oh for the people just in case oh, hit them yep hit them go ahead all right so uh, our AFC playoff picks that we were referenced to a few weeks ago, uh, Sticks has Tennessee, Buffalo, Cleveland, KC, and then the wild cards we have, my or I have Miami, Indian, Cincy. Anas Big Homie has Tennessee, Buffalo, Cleveland, KC, Miami, Baltimore, and Denver. Shout out Aaron Jones. Yeah, I'm feeling some um, kind of way about that, but it's all good. It's already on wax. Ahead, hey, but we 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 will we will reference this next week before opening day, maybe the week, and see if we still uh, are on these. And the NFC we have sticks has Tampa Bay, Washington Football Team, Green Bay, Go Hawks, okay, Lar, Arizona, and Orleans. And our big homie has Tampa Bay. Washington football team, Green Bay, Rams, okay. San Francisco, Dallas, and New Orleans. Mm, I think I got talked into that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, I told but you. But like we, like we just said, though, I mean, to be honest, man, there's the haves and the have-nots. And, I yeah. think, and New Orleans could be one of those. New Orleans could be one of those because guess who's been there the whole time is Sean Payton, but his ass ain't going no damn where until he wants to. I think that he is so in the fabric of what they got going there, man. I don't think the ownership is even tripping about what Sean Payton is doing. They just they think he's going to get it back at some point, but after l- losing Drew Brees is hard. Losing Peyton Manning is hard. Be interesting, bro. Losing really Tom, is. Tom Brady. Is hard, okay? That's just what it is. And, and Green Bay's going to learn about this, too, if they keep going about the route that they're going. So it, it's just one of those things, man. They might be that, that team, too, that, you know, they, they might need to get blown up. But I know that uh, uh, Peyton ain't going no damn way. Everybody else might get blown up, but he ain't moving. It's wild because, man, 
it's going to be an interesting year, my, my dog. Um, hey, thanks, everybody, for listening. We much appreciate it. We went on a ramp, but that's just how we roll, bro. You know, that's just how we roll. Working on Can't give things. them nothing less. <laughs> yeah. You know, be ready. You know, um, please use the hashtag sticks and sports. So we can get back to you. Use on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at 6015. Follow this guy, announced big homie at homie underscore anonymous. We got you with all your football questions. It's full, 100% all in for the next however many months there are till, like announced big homie said, mid Feb. Don't mm-hmm. forget to sub- subscribe, rate, and review the show. Go to thisfunner.com for more podcasts and online content. And if you didn't, for if you forgot already, Use that um, code when you go to the website to get some merch. Get 10, G-E-T-10 from the Funner family while you're there. That's right. Nice big homie. Always a pleasure. Fucking <laughs> killed it, as always. Come what you got for the people? I know you got something. Oh, shit. wait, hold up. It's late breaking football news right now. Oh, that football. Hey. Ronaldo out here slapping people. Okay, wait, 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 wait. He's not slap. That was the that was the wackest slap I ever seen. He slapped it, slapped the man's shoulder. But the funniest part about it, you know, a soccer. The man act like Ronaldo slapped the shit out of him, which he didn't. <laughs> and yo, now see, we laughing right now because it's funny. Now if y'all gonna go and watch this too. Go look it up. Go watch it. It's funny, but this is funner. That was Sports Fix with Sticks. Thank you for listening, and don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review the show. If you want to join the show, use the hashtag Sticks and Sports. Winners don't make excuses. Be a barbecue hero with delicious, ultra low net carb hero bread, buns, and tortillas. Soft and fluffy, high in fiber, and with zero grams of sugar, up to 10 grams of protein, coming in at under 100 calories per serving. Oh, and did I mention they taste like their mouth watering traditional versions? I mean, what's not to love? Use code AH10 for 10% off your first hero bread purchase at hero.co. That's AH10 for 10% off at hero.co.